Up she comes, and they sent on their way. We're looking hot, being a little bit awkward off the mark. Little Miss Moneybags drops in in the early stages. It's insatiable who got a good break with Rock on Captain Samoa is towards the far side. Fennec Fox tracks them. Mia Regina in the open. Then Feather the Nest, your race is bang in the middle. Looking hot's a bit awkward. Smelting, light blue jacket, yellow cap. Call me when you need me towards the outside. Little Miss Moneybags, white sleeves and cap about six lengths off the leader. And finally, Love Bite. They're halfway through. Insatiable is in. In front. She has the lead by about three lengths over Samoa, who races away in second. Fennec, Fox, Mia, Regina. Call me when you need me towards the outside. Still got four lanes to make up. Then comes Feather the Nest. Smelting was out after those, but Insatiable is still the leader. She holds a two length lead over Fennec, Fox, Samoa. Call me when you need me. And Feather the Nest trying to get a blow in. Insatiable. Samoa low flying late. Here's the line in Samoa or Insatiable. It's a photo with Call Me When You Need Me in third. Then came Fennec Fox. So this grand old mare, Samoa, a rising nine-year-old is a seven-time winner from 73 starts. And Gavin Larina and Bridget Stadolf team up. Well done to uh, Mr. Nell and also uh, Mrs. Wynn, the winning owners, and bred by Harris Del Carmo Closed Corporation. What a wonderful mare she has been. Although they are far better than her around in the country, just her guts, determination, her will to race, her will to run has taken her to places that I don't think many would have thought were possible. Seven career wins, earnings nearly 700,000 rand, and she's gone to fetch Insatiable, who was game up front. All right, so there we go, um, top ride. I must say, all credit goes to uh, Gavin Larina. And uh, I've got to also give a special mention uh, to Sean Patterson because he's done wonders with his horse. Now become a seven-time winner from 73 outings. Just been such a grand horse to own. Eight years old, rising nine. Let's chat to Gav. Um, Gav, I've got to say a top ride by you because I th always thought you were going to run second, but um, all heart, all determination. And uh, from you, your side, I mean, just the way you got down in behind her, I mean, top right. Awesome, Moa, Brennan. Awesome, Moa. She's just, she's phenomenal to ride. Every time you get on her back, you know she's going to give you all. And uh, we had a month to climb 300 to go. But, uh, you know, she was giving it to me. She, she was unwinding nicely for me. And, uh, you know, she really hit top gear about 150 out. And, and then it started to come back. And, uh, you know, she picked the ears back and she, she ran to the line today. It was awesome, Moa. Look, you don't want to say she's improving, but I mean, what you see is what you get, and uh, I mean, what you get is a win. I mean, now become a, a seven-time winner, Gav. I mean, it's just incredible. It's not often that you get to own horses with these sort of um, yeah. merit points, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's just fantastic. And to Sean, uh, I don't know what to say. I mean, he's just done a phenomenal job with her uh, to get her to win seven races. And to she ran a week ago, and, you know, for old horse to run a week apart, and to bring her back and winning, it's it's phenomenal. And all credit must go to Sean, to Mr. Patterson, to, to Bridget, to all of them. These wins are very special to me, Brandon. And well done to Mr. Nell and to Mrs. Wynn and the whole team. It's, it's beautiful to win for them. Look, if I spoke to Sean beforehand, or now speaking to him now, he would have told me if he rode it, he wins by a length. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I think it. he would have let her go a bit sooner. You know, <laughs> she only got going with me in the pull-up. <laughs> Look, they're good people. You can see what it means to them. And, uh, I mean, yeah. Gav, for you to be a part of it, I'm sure it's just special. Love it. Thank you very All much. All done on the double. I know that uh, when you yeah. opened the race card, I know you probably would have had Empress game yeah, hoping to win. It would have been a yeah. three-timer, but uh, that's racing. Uh, we yeah. enjoy watching you ride. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much. And a big thanks to Volkobos Drifter Management Team. That's Gavin Larina. That was a great ride. Always good to watch those sort of finishes. And, yeah, they share a moment behind the camera. Good hug, good smile. Shawnee, come and chat to me. This is your moment. I know you're full of tears, but um, what a man you are. I know that you take a lot of pride in what you do, and you're always willing to come and chat to us. I mean, what does this girl mean to you? There's no words. There's no words. Uh, you know, her and Gavin, uh, sorry, I'm in tears. No, no, to take Tanya, time. Tanya, thank you for the loan of the blinkers. Yeah. It's the fourth time she's won in these blinkers. We're still waiting for ours to be made. Keep them. We and want to I, I said for. to Tanya, we'll give her the new set. <laughs> we'll keep these ones. But um, she's indescribable. There is no word you could say. <laughs> I write every day, and I'm sorry about the tears, no, no, but carry on, it's. Shawnee. 
the pe the owners are, are big supporters of our yard, and and Bridget, you know, she's got the word in the, on the phone every now every now and then, and. To my mum, to my dad, thank you. To my dad especially, yep. you know. To Manuel, to the grooms, you can't do it by yourself. You know well, what gets me in a little bit though is a small yard like us. And us, we, we're fighting to stay alive. Yes, and we all are. But when you got precious gems like us, it makes it all worthwhile. Now look, and I know that uh, you've probably, I mean, you've been around horses your entire life. You've grown up with them, Shawnee. And, I mean, we've often spoken, and uh, you call her the good old Sammy. Uh, she's done you so proud, and then she's done the owners so proud. And you know what was special for me now is just watching you and Gavin behind the camera. I mean, you guys have just got this connection. So keep up the good work, Shawnee. I know that uh, I can't continue... What I say on air is the absolute truth. I keep waxing lyrical that your horses come to the course. They always look so well for the small string that you got. And what you're doing at the moment is a fine job. Thank you very much. And thank you for all your support. And everybody out there, please keep racing going. We love it. I've got to go settle mode. There we go. That's Sean Patterson. Very emotional. I know it means so much to me. If I can grab the winning connections, please come and have a word with me because... Um, Wow, she's special. She's very, very special. Please come a little bit closer just so we can get the backing boards in. Um, I'm going to start with you, sir. I mean, um, it's been great to be watching you guys at the course over the last few months, and you must just be enjoying racing at the moment. Absolutely. Yeah, this is a really, really good little filly. She's been so honest to us. Um, and yeah, where to from here? You know, seven wins. Amazing. I'd like to say thank you to Sean, to Bridget, Sharon, Reed. A job very, very well done, and we're very proud of this filly. And I want to dedicate this one to my little dog, Cody, who I lost on Friday, was 16 years old, and I dedicate this one to him. Absolutely. Why not? That's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. Ma'am, last word from you. Always good to see you. I know that uh, you guys come out here. It's a long way to go, but um, you always wear some O's. Yep. Um, a special thanks to all the people. Sorry about Cody. Um, Special thanks to um, the farriers, Equifeeds, because they give us the best feed ever, to Bridget, Sean, Reed, Sharon, and of course, Sammy. Incredible, isn't she? Yeah, so, sorry. No, no, take all the time you need. It's, this is what we love, this is what racing needs. I mean, at the end of the day, it's passion, and uh, I know you guys feel it from the heart, so take all the time you need. Like I said, it's always good to see you guys, and uh, long may it continue, she's not gonna stop. No. Good stuff. And also, um, can I mention the breeders? Yes, Bosworth. sure. Um, Neil has been unbelievable. Absolutely. It's an amazing, Absolutely, amazing. Absolutely, yeah. And obviously, Gavin, like, well, he's just Incredible. unbelievable with Top this filly. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we, where she came from, at one stage, we weren't sure. Did you she, think you got there? Um, well, we, I did, and Mike did. Um, Shawnee wasn't sure. I didn't yeah, even but know we, the belt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I thought we got up. Yeah, I did, yeah, guys, so. well done. Always good yeah. to see you guys. Long Thank may you. continue. And let's hope she can get the Big Ten soon as well. Thank well, you very much. Let's she, hope so. She's yeah. here to stay. Just <laughs> one is quirky. Yeah. Thank you very Thanks, much. Sir. Well, that's what racing's all about, folks. Uh, that's what we need. Um, you can see the raw passion, the love for the horse, love for the animal, and just the love for the game. Uh, well done to Shawnee Patterson. Well done to Bridget all the way in Zimbabwe. Of course, to the winning connections over here. They can be very proud. Seven-time winner from 73 outings. It was a great ride, a great finish, and it goes the way of Sammy, as she's known now, Samoa. She's crept a space in all our hearts, hasn't she? So the racing continues here at the Vol. The exotics are now underway. Later on, we've got some quick mixes. If you're a quick mix fan, you've got that to look forward to. But for now, I'm going to hand you back to the studio. The horses are coming into the parade ring for the next race.